hi everyone welcome back to the ext.js 6 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the controller so we are uh, we will focus on the three main points so uh, what is the role of controller and how we can implement the controller and how we can interact the view and the controller so first question is what is the role of controller so there is a uh, two type of role of the controller uh, first is this is the make a bridge between the model store and view and the second is uh, when you want to perform some operation on the uh, button click or any selected event or anything that you want event you want to perform on the ui the code should be in the controller right so these are the main roles and now let's uh, start with the code so in the last video we make a view which is uh, the extra dot js and we append it inside the main view all right so if uh, you did not watch this video then you have to watch uh, if you are a beginner and if you directly want to jump on the controller then it's okay also uh, if you want to get this video uh, about the view the link is given in the description box all right so now let's start get start so first of all i'm just want to go inside the main and here i'm just going, going to make a new file with the extra uh, ex uh, extra controller to js why i put the extra because my naming convention of view is also similar here right so now just write some code to define uh, to define the controller so as you know there should be the two parameters one for the namespace and the name so my name of uh, of application dot um the view dot main dot file name all right and this is the first parameter as a second parameter we will write some extra properties to enhance the properties so we can write here extend inside the extent write the ext dot app dot controller so we can use the view controller also and if you want to go with the a normal controller then it's okay but i'm going to use the view controller because this is recommended by the uh xtgs so just write here controller and now we can put the alias and as an alias i can put the name controller dot extra all fine so just use the comma here also all right so now i'm just going to define the init function the init function if you want to perform some action on the initialization then we can do all right so before going with that so i'm just going to make a button inside the view so just right here x type is button and uh, what we can do we can put the name here name is let's say click or whatever you want and text and text is call controller or whatever you want to put and item id why i use the item id here because with the help of this item id i will perform the operation uh, inside the controller all right so fine so now just get come back uh, on the controller and here we have to write some uh, more code so just i'm just going to define the controls right and inside the controls we can define what kind of event or where we are going to access it so let's say on the uh, click of this id whatever uh, on the behalf of this id i want to perform some operation and the operation will be going on the click button and what operation we have to call we have to call the call on click function will be called here right so i'm just going to define the call 
on click function and here I can make some alerts like alert hello from controller all right so I hope this code should work fine so now let's see okay so I one more thing you can see that the button is here but I think I just uh, miss one thing here so I have to um, call here the controller here so for that I just have to write here controller and the controller name and my controller name is extra that I post here so in the extra you can see that the controller dot extra so I don't need to define the controller I can just put here directly extra so now let's see I think it should be work okay is this is calling the controller dot extra is not defined sometime it's not loading loaded by the uh, command prompt so we can try with the command prompt once and if still there is a problem then we can debug this okay so now you can see that sometime command prompt is not loaded it and now I think it should work when I just click on it mm -mm. let's check I think I did not put the IDs or anything correctly yep actually I found the problem I think problem is here so I just have to write in it and I just misspell it and now just format it and let's try to run it now you can see that uh, app which is consoled here is already done and when I just try to click on it you can see that hello from the controller alright so here you can see that uh, how we can call the function so if let's say I want to just perform some more actions so I think I just found the issue the issue is uh, with the init spell so I just correct the init spell and now let's see now you can see the app is here which is consoled inside the uh, init function so if I just press on the call function then uh, this function should be called here alright so you can see that now it's called here so let's see the once again flow when we just call the item id from here uh, because the controller is binded with here this item id will call uh, with attached with uh, this id and when we just uh, define the click function here uh, the function on click here then it will call this function so if i just add some another button also send let's say and call with the another ID then we can just simply define here another then now it's it will call with the another ID not to the actual one so now okay, so just I have to define the button name also just I refresh it and you will see now it's working that one because we put the ID with that also alright so in the last video we just learned about the viewport also so if you want to just add the viewport then you can directly connect and un uh, uncomment this code and if you want to know about the viewport then you can watch your previous video the link is also given in the description box so with that viewport uh, viewport you will get the header and footer here alright and the functionality will remain same so thanks guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe our channel like this video share and if you have any kind of suggestion you can ask me in the comment box